there are two people in, that have existed in history that I call quote assholes, quote assholes. People that are quoted excessively and everyone knows these people for vague attributes. We don't really know what they've done necessarily all the time, but we quote them excessively. Marilyn Monroe and Albert Einstein. Now, Albert Einstein said that there are two things he knows that will always exist. This is me paraphrasing. The universe and human ignorance. And he's not necessarily sure about the universe. When I think about politics and how boring politics can be, I noticed a friend of mine said that he basically got bored of politics in two and a half years. He was bored of economics roughly around the same time, but he's still obsessed with the feminist issue four years on. And I can attest to this because all he speaks about is how bad feminism is and how dumb feminist claims are. And he's become a master at articulating this. A lot of it is due to his personality, his ability to spot BS and to split it in half, to call out on it and to deconstruct it. And... That has opened my eyes to something that I see as being really interesting. Politics is basically done as a subject. All political issues have been pretty much spoken about completely. All that's been said, and all that needs to be said has already been said. There are some questions that there are no answers to, and there will never be answers to them. And that's pretty much it. I could be wrong, and if I am wrong, this video really showcases my ignorance, but whatever needs to be expanded on, there is a finite limit, especially now. We're pretty much at times where things are getting really slow and redundant. If there is more to be discovered, if there is a larger dimension out there of political thought and things we could think about, then we are not at that time. It's going to take forever. But for now, what is infinite is how stupid ideology can be and how ridiculous ideologues will, how they'll stoop to basically quantify the universe in their own naive dogma, their heuristics that can't explain everything, and that while it can explain some things, there's, there are holes within it, and they will never be able to fill those holes, you will never be able to bridge those gaps or resolve the issue, because it's all heuristics. Their dogmas are based on heuristics, their ideologies are flawed and broken. And they'll only get more and more broken as people rationalize more ridiculous stuff. Ideology epitomizes human ignorance and human stupidity because it's going to keep going. It's going to get worse and it's going to get more dysfunctional, kind of like a Mr. Wonka 7 video. And there's something that can resolve this. You really have to drop the idea of being an ideologue. I know I sound like Bill O'Reilly when I critique things like ideology and being an ideologue, but that's basically been what this channel has been about for a few years now, since I dropped the whole ANCAP schlock. And I can see why someone would be so obsessed with deconstructing something like feminism.
because feminism is a movement, various movements revolving around ideology, gender politics, and there is so much ignorance that can be extracted upon it. It's almost infinite. In fact, it might be infinite because new lows will always be stooped, will always sink to new lows, downgrading and insulting everyone's intelligence, including your own. And how could you find the bottom to that? How can you find the base, the limit where all that comes to a halt? You can't. There's always a lower level. That's that's the problem. And it's not just feminism. It's any ideology. It's basically going to exist to quantify the universe. And politics is the worst place for that because politics should be small. Things shouldn't be too politicized. You know, anything and everything is going to be politicized to expansive degrees. Politics is pretty much a finished philosophy. And if it's not, well... We have a firm grasp on things. And ideology is destroying it all. But anyway, this is Mr. Rock 7. Let me know what you think. Correct me if I'm wrong, or argue with me. Who cares? Most of you are assholes anyway, so suck my dick.